Hey guys, it's me again. Appreciate all the uh, comments, likes, and subscriptions on my last video. Thank you. Um, just still going to do a quick video on the weather strip. So, you know, they got the gap in the door. If you've got this issue, I'm going to show how to, re how to replace that. This is the weather strip, which is this piece here. And then I'm also, if you've got this issue where when you push that tight, your uh, rubber's coming off, I'm going to also replace that. So let's get started. Uh, the weather stripping, here's a replacement part. They are different for the left and the right, or the driver, the passenger side. Uh, this is for the driver's side, that's the model number. I think uh, instead of the, I think that's a 24. I'll get the model number anyway, but these are different parts for different sizes. One's for the driver, um, and it's got a you know, different model number than the passenger, but we're going to go ahead and replace this right now, and then we'll get to the larger rubber piece. This is actually your door seal. This is your on-body door seal. And this is your um, on-door door seal. That's what they call them if you're looking to replace it. So on-door and on-body, those are the door seals. And this is the weather strip. Took me a while to figure that out. But let's get that weather strip popped off and replaced. So your weather strip has little button one. There's another one up there. There's a total of four. Two, uh, there is, where's that, three, and then four at the bottom. So, with the passenger, or correction, driver's door, passenger door, front door open, I just simply get a screwdriver. I get in there, behind it. You can use a trim tool if you've got, and then, try to get to focus. Get in there and then just twist it doesn't matter if you break it it can because you got replacements on the uh, new parts so you just need to get those out I just stick it in there and then I just rotate the handle That wants to be difficult. Come on. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That's two. And then for the fourth one, uh, up in there, I find it just easiest to open the back door to get to the last one, which is right there. The same thing, just get you screwdriver, flathead, or uh, trim removal tool and just pry that out. After that, all those are out, you can just peel it off. And let's see. Old part versus the new part. That's the front passenger uh, item number, part number, and that's for the driver. So you see it's just a difference in the last two, 24 versus 25. 24 is the passenger, 25 is the driver's side weather strip. Here where I took that off, I just got a wet paper towel. And I'll just get that dirt out of there. You don't have to, it's just 
preference before um, it's what I'm doing before I put on my new weather strip so that's what it you've got that opening in there and that just slips right over just push it on and you can see right there it's not pushed in but you can see it just lines lines nice lines up and once it's seated on there and just come here and just it just pushes back in the hole there and you just take your finger and push it back it's nothing special push them in with your finger and they should pop so you know they're in and in you've got that one which come back to the back open the back door make sure that let see it just slips on make sure it's up there snug and then just take your finger Take your thumb, let's push it in. That's in. So, see this one's not all torn up. I like the other one. So that's it, it's just those four pieces. Now we're gonna try to tackle this weather strip. It's gonna be kind of hard to show this, but you're gonna have to remove, that's gotta come up and out. And then this one up to here, I'm just gonna kind of pry it out uh, without removing it because you know if you remove this whole piece you can but then you've got to go the uh, route of the seat belt and I'm really not trying to do all that all right so you got to remove this plate Let's see if we can do it one-handed use you can use your trim removal tool you can do it with your hand like I'm doing. I'm trying to do it one-handed in film. But remember, when you're moving your trim pieces, pull this piece straight out. Straight out. Don't, in other words, don't grab here and then peel down because that's how you break your tabs off. You want everything to come straight out. That would come straight up. It needs to come out in the manner it was mounted to keep from tearing your tabs up. So, we got that much. And then this needs to come up. So if you got a trim removal tool, I'm just going to don't have mine with me. So I'm just going to pop the screwdriver under there. And then I'm just going to kind of lift straight up. Not in a prying motion, but just to, to pop straight up. Basically, you just want to. I don't know if I need it on there to show it, probably not, but you just want to 
get your trim removal tool or in this case a screwdriver and just just kind of you have it there like that push it over and then just pop pop down on the end and see that's pulling the uh pulling the molding up with it which is fine just want it to come up So, dang, okay. So see your molding. And you should be able to just peel that, peel that off. This one and do the same thing. Take your molding, you got to get it to the outside edge. And just peel that off. So we've got that part removed. That's, there's the molding. And then we're just going to pop this up. And we'll try to work. All right, so you got to pop that front edge. You see there's a clip right there. You got that little tab that fits under in here. And I just push that back. So there's another tab. Let's see. Tab there. You just push this back enough. Alright, so from here you just grab the bottom of your uh, door seal and it just peels out. The new piece looks like that trim or that uh, that piece will set down over over this right here set down over that flange and when you start make sure that uh, this piece, the hard rubber U-shaped part should go over the that metal flange, but this piece should make contact with your door, so that should be on the outside. And then as you come up here, this uh, this thing should be on the inside.
roll it up and just like there's a couple little arrows that were there to hold that piece on there. Just make sure you tap it and get a nice good seal going around and then just kind of roll it up one handed and then tap it into place with the other. Sure to get in your corners good because that's where it was peeling before which is probably the reason you're replacing it Once you get here, your trim will want to be in the way. Just push it back one hand and keep working it around, making sure it's seated. down here just move that out one hand and push that in with the other so once you get it replaced get it all the way down seated you got an over and under this the flap goes over it's an over and then under, once you put this back in, this little groove, that little groove should fit, or that tab, whatever you want to call it, should fit down in that tray. And then this plastic should be over. So it's uh, over, the rubber is over here, and then it's over here, under here. So... Goes over the inside by the seat belt, right? It's over, and then here it runs there, it's under. And go ahead and just push there and uh, make sure to put that little tab back under and just seat it good with those. Uh, just make sure you got it seated good on your tabs and you're going to put this trim back in so you've got those metal pieces to go down so you have to get them in in there so what i did on the other side was just took a screwdriver and not working very well one-handed the screwdriver and then just um, kind of Peel that out a little bit. Same with this one. Bend it down. Peel it out. So when you get it here, the first thing you want to try to do is get the rubber over top. This, uh, this piece, the metal thing should go in under that track. So, same kind of same as we when we took it out. 
you see that is going to fit that's going to fit in that groove and then you see how it just fits in the rubber that's the whole point so with this side pull it up just a little bit and get the rubber piece to seat I don't know if you can see that, but you want it to seat down over that metal bracket. So, once that's done, you plug, if you've got that little piece I do, I'm going to plug it back and then let's finish pushing. Got that one stuck back in, or clipped back in. Let's go in that hole. you get it just apply some pressure just to make sure that you've got those tabs seated in there good so I'm just gonna take a rubber mallet seated good I'm not coming out let's remember over over top over top under that's seated back nicely And that's it. Hope it helped. Have a great one.